live at five it's offer review and uh this is just kind of blows my mind right here scopely just bought gsn which is the sony games pictures game show network i i don't know they have a a gaming decision for not millions of dollars but for a billion dollars and this just kind of blows my mind when you read the numbers here. I just want everybody to know that Scopely is not a joke. My understanding is they're privately held. And they said that their current valuation of their company is $5.4 billion. And this is up from last year when it was $3.3 billion. And then they also acquired Fox Next Games, developers Marvel Strike Force. I think they got Fox Next for $300 million. This is bonkers, man. I've never really heard of this uh, Sony uh, GSN games. I'm not really familiar with what it is. Uh, I'm not familiar, like they, they rattled off a bunch of games here, but I did not recognize any of them. Doesn't seem like something that I've seen, which is kind of interesting. But my goodness, I, I feel like they could take a small percentage of that billion dollars and maybe dump it into a, a better framework for Marvel Strike Force or, you know, some sort of QA or some sort of anything, right? I mean, it's just like a billion dollars. Oh my God, that's a lot of money. Hard to wrap yourself, wrap my head around how much money it is. And I, I do think the video game industry, I mean, let's talk about that for a second. The video game industry is, is very large. I mean, it's bigger than Hollywood. Uh, you know, you got Activision Blizzard, you know, worth $55 billion and the revenues on these, you know, if you look at like Grand Theft Auto, like, you know, I think that was a $6 billion game. Galaxy of Heroes was 1.3 billion. I mean, it's bigger. As far as an entertainment vehicle, I believe video games is at the top. As, as you know, it's, it's my preferred uh, form of entertainment. It's interactive entertainment. And it's really, it, really the big deal. And I'll tell you this, I mean, Scopely acquires, you know, Scopely is privately held, but man, I would love to be an investor in Scopely. I think they're doing... Uh, in mobile games is where there's going to be growth. And if I were to guess, I mean, I don't know their numbers or anything like that. The biggest tease in Marvel Strike Force right now is uh, looking in the war store and getting excited for Maria Hell, then realizing it's Shield Operative for the third time in a row. I, and and I don't think Shield Operative looks too much like Maria Hill. I mean, there were some other ones that I think are really close. You know, like X twenty three and Jessica Jones look really similar. Uh, also, uh, like Black Bolt and uh, uh, Bullseye look very similar. But the main point right here is minions in the war store. Boy, let's get them yanked out. And we're still waiting to hear where Sharon Carter is going to be. No clue. A lot of speculation on where Sharon Carter is going to end up. To, uh, on Wednesday, my understanding is that Captain America Sam Wilson will be going to a hard node in Doom. Uh, that was all announced on Friday. Let's go to the offers and take a look what we got there. Uh, we've got a couple different offers that... Uh, First thing, we go to the the two. We got two joke offers, in my opinion. Dual honorable orb offers. So these are not the the preferred way of giving silver samurai. These are the event campaign orbs. These are the orbs that have silver samurai in the shot on the sides, and then a percent chance, maybe fourteen percent or something like that, to give a silver samurai. So these orbs right here give an average of a little over five silver samurai shards per orb. So if you've opened up, say, 16 orbs, and you can multiply that number by five, and then you should have a number of how many you should have gotten, then you know if you're doing better than worse, better or worse, right? But my opinion on this is rather than spending $20 or $29 or $20 or $30, I think you're better off buying cores and coring the event than doing this. I just don't think this is a very good value. Also, these limited time offer, uh, this is a, an insulting gold offer right here. Uh, I, I don't know what they're thinking here. At best, this is worth like 10 bucks, and at best, that's worth like six bucks. So, this is maybe $16, $15, $16 boomer valuation. It's not even close to 30 bucks. I think we're going to find better offers in the regular, regular review right here. Now, tough as nails orb offer. Boy, look at those nails right there. So, I did buy this to unlock Lady Deathstrike, and I'm leaning towards Skirmisher. Uh, as her uh, uh, ISO 8 uh, because I was talking to Reminex and uh, what he was saying to me which made a lot of sense is that if she puts out bleeds then uh, her passive will lower the resistance on the opposing team so getting a bleed out requires her having high focus and I think Skirmisher 
it makes a lot of sense so make sure that she actually lands those bleeds uh made sense to me anyways i i did buy this and got her unlocked better deal than spending those 900 cores seemed like that uh, the people that did spend all the cores didn't have a very long window before this offer came out which is at least half as uh, twice as much value than buying those cores in my opinion uh, elite four star orb offer this is anchor pricing on elite fours i think that elite fours are probably closer worth to 10 to 12 dollars i pulled chat here on twitch and they most people said that they wouldn't consider this unless it was 10 dollars. i think i'm somewhere in the 12 dollar but this is elite four anchor pricing elite fives 35 dollars and elite six is 75 dollars as far as anchor pricing where it scopely uh, puts out initial offers to make you feel like you're getting a good deal when there's actually a lower price uh, that's kind of what this is right here. Red Star Ultimate Pack. I value Red Stars at a buck and a half a piece. So these six orbs right here. So at best, this is worth $9 to me. Not quite worth $25. Gear. I don't buy purple gear. When I did buy purple gear, I would not buy it over for 10 cents a piece. Problem is, uh, you probably need these the most. And then you probably have abundance of these two pieces right here. So it's hard to see a lot of value here. Plus, purple gear is just not uh, as scarce and not as much as a bottleneck as it was six months or a year ago for sure again uh t3 materials i think that they've, they've quite often sold these for a buck for 100 i think that's a much better price uh, given that you need to have over 700 of these to get a character to uh, their abilities like at six 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 four uh you need like 700 or something and 100 won't go a long way and that's just super pricey and they do become abundant later i think u 7.5 is where uh, you start getting a lot of these and i remember when i started doing offer review which is more than a year ago maybe like a year and a half ago or something like that i had like twenty thousand of these and now i have over a hundred thousand so it is a bottleneck uh depending on where you are with your alliance and what you're rating will ease up as time goes on in my opinion it's still a real bottleneck but yeah if we look at that other offer up there basically that offer up there was a craziness like it was 30 us dollars for the same amount of orbs and for for 800,000 more gold, it was a million gold. So basically they're trying to sell 800,000 gold for $20, get out of here. I don't even think this is a great deal. This is a, 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 a very average deal. Now you will only have this deal uh, if you purchase Lady Deathstrike. So this deal won't show up unless you buy one of these, uh, which is that first offer that we looked at. It will only show up that a lot of these offers will only show up if you buy her, if you unlock her. And so uh, the valuation on this is $6 plus another two bucks. Maybe this is worth a total of $8. Uh, you know, I don't buy this, but gold, they've been so stingy. And ever since the, lady, the, the, le, uh, the level cap increased to level 85, I know myself, I have been uh, strapped for gold. I've reverted back to spending a million, million two a day, uh, which helps me save up for when, the next, when characters come out. But right now I'm just kind of, strapped on gold because i've fully upgraded my doom 2 raid teams and i felt like that was a good use and i'll get around to her and silver samurai and wolverine and and, and saber tooth i'll get them when they get them right it, it's I, I feel like they're gonna punch up against uh heroes for hire weight right based on the way that i i think that the 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 trauma mechanic will work on them uh training orbs again i value these at a buck and a half a piece so we got three orbs there, four and a half dollars, plus maybe that's worth another two bucks, so that's six and a half dollars. Uh, ever since the skill military event has come out, I feel that this bottleneck is not as bad as it was six months to a year ago, but it's still a real bottleneck. Uh, do what you gotta do. Uh, this is garbage, straight trash, a buck a piece for these, so that's like $11, and there's no way that that makes up the difference for the other $13. Three arena orbs is maybe, maybe we were 50 cents a piece, I don't know. Uh, a lot of people asking if they think that um, Sharon Carter is going to go to the arena orb, and I'm not sure that that's going to happen because Phyla was rather recently added there. Seems like they haven't done anything with the raid store in a while. I don't know what that means or not. Legacy 2 orb bundle. Uh, not really a fan of these orbs. Uh, veteran players have little to no interest on this, but uh, I do value these orbs about 33 cents. So there's some purple gear and some gold in there. Uh, take a look at the orbs and see if there's any characters in there that you want. Uh, then you can move forward with that. Anyways, uh, ISO 8 energy offer. I do like any offers that include ISO 8 energy because it was reworked two or three patches ago. Not a fan of these orbs or at all because they're the same as they've been since ISO 8 was introduced this time last year. Uh, this offer is normal. I've bought in the past. 
Uh, people in the past have bought this also to get to level 85 quicker and to take care, take a, in advantage of any kind of events that are currently running. I don't see that there's any events right now that would really be useful with that right now, but do what you got to do. I think that's trash. Uh, silver promotion credit offer, 10 silver promotion credits over seven days for three bucks. They have sold 50 silver promotion credits in the past for $3. So this is nothing special. This appears in the store a couple times a week, it seems like, but it's always there. Trash, trash again. The $15 offer with the 1,000 uh, green energy is a better value than even looking into these. I just don't see the value on the, these offers. They are the same offers that they've had since the I, green ISO was inter, introduced a year ago. Anyways, this is a heroic deal. 800 energy, I value that at $4. It's hard to say that the rest of this is worth the other six bucks. Uh, sometimes people will buy this if they want to get to level 85 uh, more quickly and or, and or if there's any kind of events running with double drops, check the events tab and see if that is working right now. But uh, I've, I've never bought that. Limited time sale, my goodness. Uh, trash, even this is bad. That offer for $29 is horrific. But anyways, uh, right here we've got four gold orbs at $2 a piece, maybe eight bucks and another two bucks, maybe $10 value. This is a normal offer. There's nothing limited about this offer. This offer is almost here a couple times a week. Uh, but again, the offer attached to Lady Deathstrike for $10 is better than this. And even that one, I don't think is that great. Power core deal. We've got uh, $3 right here. I'd be more favorable to this if it came with 225 power cores, and then you'd be getting bonus training materials. Uh, but the, it does add up to more than $3 value to me. I've never bought it, but if I would, because I just don't need I have those items at this time. Uh, War consumable bundle, boy, my goodness, the pack of shame. If you blitz a lot, uh, you won't have to buy this, uh, but uh, this seems like I've had to buy this because I get behind on my on my war currency because I have not been blitzing a lot lately. My goodness, so that's completely on me. All right, the rest of this stuff down here is trash. We're gonna just scroll all the way down to the bottom see if there's anything of interest. I don't see anything good down there. Let's toggle over to the free-to-play account. And we'll see if there's any offers. Congratulations to anybody that's unlocking Black Bolt. I believe his legendary event went live uh, this evening, just a couple minutes ago. And we're going to scroll past all these. Sometimes on this account, we'll see other offers tied to him. All right, Odd Breaker Offer. This is for 50 long shot shards for $30. Uh, the thing, he is, you, he is required to unlock Adam Warlock. And he also is a part of a very effective... Um, alliance war offensive team without a doubt although uh he does seem to be like a stat beast not so much kit based in a lot of ways uh so it seems like he's falling off a little bit quicker than like a character like emma which is a kit based character uh it's just the way i see it playing out anyways uh x factor does help unlock adam warlock uh but he can get him out of the war store so uh i believe he's in the war store i can't remember yeah war store uh, anyway, so that's kind of a hard way of getting him. Let's move on. Gamora. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's just pause for a second and talk about Infinity Watch ladies, which is Gamora, Nebula, Phyla, and Moondragon. If you have a way of getting all four of those characters up and running and a fifth member, which can be any plug-and-play character, uh, people will use Kestrel, Silver Surfer. You could even use Star-Lord because he boosts Gamora's speed and damage. Uh, but and then also maybe a character like Emma anyways that's going to be an amazing arena team and if you have the other three members of uh, Infinity Watch and it's great without Adam Warlock it's just an amazing arena team do what you got to do but Gamora is relatively easy to get I believe Raid Store uh, there's Phyla all right Phyla this is pricey 50 character shards for 35 bucks is not a great value by no means but uh, where she she's available in what the arena orb only so she's kind of hard to get uh, this has a value of about $3 between the two, uh, but do what you got to do. Like I said, uh, getting those four members of the Infinity Watch, the Infinity Watch ladies without Adam Warlock is an amazing team uh, and can get you a lot of different parts of the game for sure. Uh, I'm wondering, though, how much of an impact a Mega Red's going to have on the arena. Uh, the developers did not pitch a Mega Red or Silver Samurai as a an arena viable characters they definitely pitch them as an apex whatever that means apex uh war team uh so but i'm curious if uh, omega red will make it into 
a legendary soup, you know, a, a team made up of very strong plug and play characters, which are no longer typically legendaries, but probably a team made up of, you know, let's say Doom and Kestrel and Silver Surfer with Omega Red and maybe Silver Samurai. I wonder how that's going to work in the arena. I'm very curious. We'll have to wait. Uh, first week of November, maybe, uh, is when I, I, a lot of people are predicting for Omega Red to be launched. Uh, Queen of the Dead offer. So this is for Hella. Hella is a late a late game hard node farm. Uh, she does unlock uh, five members of the Asgardians unlock Black Bolt, which is right here behind me. And Black Bolt then, of course, helps you unlock Ebony Ma. Uh, do I think it's, it's such a weird thing to say, like, are these legendaries worth it? Do they even feel legendary anymore? I, I, I'm more inclined to say to push the, the Gamora, Phyla, Nebula, Moondragon route than to go for Phoenix or black bolt i mean they just have limited use compared to some of these newer characters it seems like the characters that have come after silver surfer have just been so so strong and uh hella's use in raids uh yeah she still can spread ability block which is kind of fun uh but i i haven't really i just i know some people are still using her or in doom but i i didn't even take her up uh, to the correct iso levels to to try her out in doom 2 but i'm hearing that it, it works okay all right, let's move on. Then there's Loki. Again, I mean, these characters are two years old, I think. Uh, maybe two. Is it two years? 18? A long time. It seems like they've been out forever. And again, he'll help unlock Black Bolt. Uh, Wrath of the Gods orb. Um, th this orb also has Thor and Loki. problem I have with this offer is that you could spend $20 and get 30 Heimdall shards, which would be just terrible. Uh, absolutely. Let's see if there's anything else here worth talking about, but I think that'll wrap it up for today. Uh, like again, I said, uh, Captain America Sam Wilson should be made available in Hard Note Farm starting on Wednesday, and then hopefully on Friday we'll have some sort of an announcement for where Sharon Carter is going to be. All right, let me know what you think in the comment section, and as always, thanks for watching. Keep on giving. Bye.